set up a uh, observation method for fluorescence image. Uh, you can set up a observation method via the device customization or directly uh, click on the icon here. Once you open the window, you can establish a new one. Um, you can type in a name you wish to name your observation method. Click OK and here you can assign it a group or you can leave it blank. Um, I have a group made up here called the demo. I can just choose that one. And you can assign a type to this observation method as well. Uh, this is a fluorescence. There's some um, predefined uh, type. You can choose fluorescence. And then come down here. This is all the components light up with the light pathway you can add into this selected component to make this observation method working. Think about a reflected fluorescent image. You need a light source. Uh, comes into the microscope, goes through the filter cubes, um, controlled on and off by the shutter and hit the sample, comes back and then reflected by the mirror and goes to the camera to form an image. So first we can choose the uh, floral chrome. Here is you can select the pseudo color for a particular observation method. If it's not used, it's just going to use the default uh, black and white value uh, for the image. Um, for conventionally, uh, people give the pseudo color to uh, different fluorescence channels. For, for example, GFP will be green, uh, RFP will be red, uh, etc. Like a W will be blue. You can select the color from here. For now, I'll just leave it blank to show you what it is um, or not used. Uh, for the camera, uh, if you have uh, more than one camera installed on the microscope, you can choose either you want to use a monochrome camera or color camera. Because we only have one camera, we we'll just use this one. Uh, you can s select the uh, the image type. We can use a 12 bit or 6 bit grayscale. Um, you can choose the exposure compensation. We can choose at zero. Um, and then you can select particular objectives uh, for this observation method. If it's uh, lived and changed, it's just going to use whatever already been set up there. Uh, to take the image but if you do select the adjust you can select a 10 or 20 or 40 uh, every time you select this observation method you're going to use that particular objective to take images so for uh, a, a bit of a generic setting i just use unchanged uh, not changed so i can just select the objective as i want for the cube mirror you do need a cube mirror uh, the mirror tar uh, the filter cube to match with the channel. Since uh, we want to do a GFP, uh, we need the uh, the microscope to adjust the filter cube as a GFP. So we can see the previous, uh, there's a couple of filter cubes, so you can select the, uh, the GFP. We actually have two GFP filter cubes in this turret, so I can select this one as well. Uh, for the light pod changer, you can either uh, leave it unchanged so you can manually select it or you can make it adjust for the camera so every time you select this observation method it will be uh, use the camera to take the image rather than the light goes to the eyepieces or half half um, finally you need a shutter as a reflected shutter you can choose this shutter under the shutter you can either uh, select adjust it which means every time if you click on the observation method, the shutter will automatically open, so you can see the image. If unchanged, it just uh, means this extra button for you to click to open the shutter. Uh, you have more control. For example, you don't want to expose your sample to the light for too long. You may just want to leave it unchanged. You can manually uh, adjust it as you, uh, as you required. And also, you can select a useful acquisition. If you select this one, uh, every time the shutter will open and close, uh, uh, only open in the period where you acquire the image after acquisition will automatically close. So we choose uh, a use for acquisition. Uh, you don't really need to set up any transmitted component for the reflected uh, uh, light pathway to take a fluorescence image. So that's uh, pretty much finish the setting. We just click OK. Yes, to add in another new observation tab here. As you can see, I can click on it. And there is, because I set the shutter as uh, um, 
only for acquisition now I'm not doing any acquisition so the shutter actually closed you can manually turn it on like here um, if we go live you can see the image um, adjust it here you can use it before automatic exposure to adjust expose uh, exposure time and you can change your lenses here um, to different uh, objective lenses